Hey guys, Crazy Chris here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, man. We're currently outside of a 2020 Honda Civic LX. So this is gonna be the base model for those that don't need all the bells and whistles or want those, something nice, simple, while getting a good fuel economy. Let's walk up here to the Maroni sticker. You guys can pause the video right here. It's gonna talk a little bit about the fuel economy. It's gonna be right up here for 30 uh, for the city and 38 for the highway. Talks about the safety ratings, where the vehicle's made at, price point, and then a list of features from there, all right? Now, all of your Honda Sensing is going to be standard on this. That includes the lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and your forward cleanser, my neck braking. You're going to have daytime running lights. Um, you're going to have the 2.0 uh, four cylinder accompanied by, by the CVT transmission. Um, you can get the LX in a manual or the CVT automatic. All right. You're going to have a 16 inch uh, with covers, rims right there for you. As you kind of walk around, you have a capless tank. Uh, now with the Civics, it's not going to be a button on the inside, it's going to be all outside here. So when you push this button in, right now the car is locked. Let's unlock it. So once it's unlocked, you can push that button, push that right in, and it pops right out for you. It's going to be a capless. So once you close this and you want no one to get in there, simply lock it. And no one can access that there from that point for you guys, alright? You're going to have LED tail lights with a three mode backup camera. Some additional chrome here towards the back of the bumper. You're gonna have a single exhaust down below. Let's check out the trunk space. So you actually have a pretty decent size, uh, size trunk. You're gonna have some more padding insulation in back here to make it more of a quieter ride for your passengers in the back seat. You're gonna have your additional tools and everything down below, also with an emergency funnel. Spare tire. Now this is gonna be a bench back seat, so it's just gonna be a one lever if you need to pull this down, uh, so it brings down the bench seat. Some more insulation here on the back, on the trunk door. Nice cloth seats. Come standard with all the cloth mats that you guys may need for the back. Let's uh, jump right in. So you do come with a, a two keys. It's going to be two uh, ignition keys. You're going to have all your adjustments right here for you. you the mirrors, you know about the power windows, power locks. That's all pretty simple and straightforward. You have your window lock right here. You're going to have your trunk button down below. All right, let's start her up. All right, so right over here, guys, we're gonna have your four ecclesic magnetic braking. You're also gonna have your vehicle stability assist with your road departure, part of your Honda sensing that keeps you on the road. You got your hood release down below. You can adjust your steering wheel from right here. It's gonna be a telescope. So as you bring, unlock that, you can push in, up and down, just as you see fit. Hands free for your smartphone right here. You also with a voice command. So you'd be like, call Crazy Chris on mobile phone. We'll give me a quick little call. See a little menu screen right up here. Hit this button. Gives you some different options. You guys can scroll through. A little bit about maintenance. You got some settings right here. So you gotta play around a little bit with that. You can mess with your volume. You have your Honda sensing. You can tell when it's available by hitting the main button. And you should see the green writing that should become right up there for you. So the ACCs, your adaptive cruise control, then you have your lane keep assist. You got those buttons right here off to the side. You got your cruise control, you can set from right here. Adjust the speed, the distance between you and the car in front of you. You have your lane keep assist, mostly for your highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour. You can have your auto lights with auto beam. You got your wipers. So yeah, pretty much basic for all those that don't need all the bells and whistles and want them. If you're looking for something that's going to be kind of small, compact as a commute, uh, definitely I would encourage the base model. Uh, you can increase your fuel economy with the Econ button right here. So with the Econ, when that's on, you have a green a little leaf that appears. These white lights here above, um, you guys can see, they're going to change colors to green as you're being fuel efficient and white as you're not. 
So with econ, that's going to improve your fuel economy for your highway driving. That's where it's going to be the most effective. It's going to nerf the power of your power of your acceleration, your power of the AC, and while changing up the RPMs of your car to increase your fuel economy. You can keep it on for your city driving. It just won't be as uh, won't be as effective because of the stop and go traffic. You have a hold break here. So if you're waiting for a train, a stoplight, whatever the case can be, you can hit that button. It holds the brake for you. Uh, so you can take your foot off the brake. You have electrical parking. You're going to have a couple ports down here. You do have a USB and then a 12 volt on the other side. Right now, the USB it does have an extender that's installed. You have a couple different drives. You're going to have a uh, regular drive, a sport, and a low gear. Now you do have a 5 inch display screen right here. Uh, you can change the backup camera view by hitting one or pushing this button right in here. Either or is fine. This is the right behind you view. Then you have a straight down from your rear bumper. As you can see this picture right here. Then you have a wide view. All right. You have your climate control. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You got the fan speed, your different modes. Front and rear defroster, air circulation, AC, temperature. It's all there. Volume control. And radio. You're going to have FM, AM radio. You're also going to have Bluetooth for your phone, as you guys seen earlier, or if you want to use it for your music sources and stuff like that, you may by hidden media. And you can do by USB for like any CDs that you may have downloaded onto a flash drive, and you can do it by Bluetooth. So those are your two options. And as you hit radio, you have AM, um, FM1 and FM2, so you can get 12 presets on FM radio, and then you have AM1 from that point. Now you can, uh, let's say if this brightness of the screen bugs you during your nighttime driving, you can change the brightness of the screen by simply hitting this button. Hands free for your phone, you can pair up to six different phones. Let's shut that right off. Let's explore some of the cabinet area over here. So you're gonna have a cup holder, actually a couple of them down below. Enough room for a big gulp, big cup, a couple of other small ones, some additional cargo space right here. Glove box. You got your hazard warning lights. Hopefully you never need those. You do have some additional cargo space in the door hand um, in the doors. So yeah, that's going to be your guys' uh, 2020 Honda Civic LX. So if you guys are looking for that good commuter and everything right here, here she is. Look no further. Now, if you guys have any questions about the uh, Honda Civic, feel free to drop a comment down below or contact me, Crazy Chris, here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids. All right, thank you guys for watching.